if you've got a MIDI controller with pads as well as dials and faders, then uh, Mainstage can do some really nice things as far as drum programming and drum pad type activity is concerned. You can see that I've got a completely blank layout here, and what I'm going to do is to just drag in some drum pads. And you can see that as I do that, Mainstage automatically assigns the next note value to each one. So I've now got C1, C sharp 1, D1, and D sharp 1 in this top row. So I can start building a kind of traditional drum machine with separate drum pads. I'm going to build eight of these. Now you can see that Mainstage automatically sort of helps you align buttons and you can see that my alignment isn't perfect at the moment but it's relatively easy to fix that later on as we'll see in just a second what I can do is simply just drag these boxes across until they're roughly lined up and of course once I've completely finished assigning switches I can go back and tidy that up more if I want to I'm also going to bring in one round uh, knob dial here so that I've got a chance to control um, a parameter which isn't simply a note value as well and whilst we're in the layout page I'm going to assign that automatically again via MIDI learn simply uh, pressing the MIDI learn button and then dialing in the controller of my choice which is going to be controller number 16. So I can just introduce a bit of that and you can see the number is set up. So I can now come out of learn mode and in fact jump into the edit screen and now I'm in a position to assign something to this controller. Now you can see that the instrument over in the channel strip is an EXS24 kit. This is a drum kit which I'm going to be playing. So what I've decided I would like to do is to be able to have cutoff frequency control over this drum kit. So I'm going to open up the filter section. You can see each independent part of the XS24 is here. and I'm just going to grab filter cutoff and automatically that's now assigned for me with its text. So it's time to test the kit and see if it's working. So as ever, as a starting point just to audition the sounds, I can simply press the switches on the screen. But of course, uh, I can also control them independently from my controller as well, just like this. Now let's try it with some filter cutoff change. So that's working a treat. You can hear that filter change and the timbre of each individual drum pad changing. And just to check that we can see that movement as well, this obviously is the cutoff control. And if I dial in some with my external uh, controller, then of course you can see the cutoff going up and down. So as you can see, setting up pads is just as easy as setting up a keyboard for note input and allied to dials and switches in exactly the same way that we have within keyboards. It's possible to set up some really interesting drum machine style control.